What is up guys, Matt from School Busters and today we're on Project Cars 3. This is the best start car uh, to choose. So let's get straight into it. So let's start off with the Honda Civic. This is pretty much almost a maxed out road e car, which you don't really want because you could add more upgrades to these two cars and it's very expensive. Because it's all, it's you've got thirty grand and you've got uh, uh, twenty nine thousand right there. So for the Mitsubishi, it's a, a like in the middle for both of these cars, and it's a four wheel drive. Whereas the Civic is a front wheel drive. So you can, on this one, you could slightly upgrade this uh, to get it maxed out, but and you've got more choices of upgrades. <clears throat> <coughs> and then for the Toyota GT, you could fully upgrade this because <clears throat> all right, if you look in your right hand corner where road E is, underneath uh, your driver rating and everything else, it's 191 and if you go to Honda Civic, it's 261. This is your upgrading uh, bar and if you go over a certain point, you go into the road D category and then you can no longer race in road E and then you got to take off the upgrades so you can race back in road E so personally I think I'm going to choose the Mitsubishi but I think the best car would possibly be, be the Toyota GT however the first two races are going to be absolutely awful because uh, I don't think you can upgrade until like, after the second race or you can, yeah, you can hang it out with the Toyota GT, or you can get the Mitsubishi and you can start somewhere. So I reckon it's going to be the Toyota GT, it's going to be the best one. So thank you for tuning in. Obviously that's my opinion, everyone else's opinions are also are, are relevant. But if you choose the Honda Civic, then you just, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so thank you for tuning in, stay tuned for more, and I'll see you all soon. Adios.